What is going on everybody? Yvonne here and today we're going to cover one of the most popular CRM solutions on the market, the Monday CRM. Whether you guys are just starting out your business or you already have a scaling operation, having a powerful CRM can do wonders to you guys' business. That's why today we're going to cover step by step on how to set up Monday sales CRM and figure out different ways for you guys to maximize your guys' efficiency. We're going to cover different things that range from contact records, pipeline management, or even automations and figure out different ways that can help you guys' business. So let's get right into it. Now, this is a step-by-step -step video. So if you guys do want to follow along with everything that I'm doing, there's going to be an exclusive link down below that's going to give you guys an access to a free trial. So once you guys click on the link in the description, you guys are ready to get started. And all we got to do is press the get started button right over here. Let's go ahead and input you guys this email that we're going to use. Enter our first and last name. So just a basic information here and our account or company name is going to be a testing company. Boom. Let's press continue. Now it's going to ask us a couple questions here, and it's really useful for you guys to answer them honestly as Monday does a really good job with helping you guys with the setup of the system. So work brings us today. We're going to be a business owner. Press continue. It's going to be just us. It's going to be just us at the company. So one to 19 people. And we're going to be in the food production industry. My role is going to be the CEO. Press continue. And where do I hear about this? Of course, from this video. So from YouTube, press continue. Awesome. Now our CRM is getting ready. And the one more step we have here is if we do have any teammates that we do want to invite to the platform, we can do so here. But I don't at this time. So I'll press remind me later. Later, but this is going to be really useful for you guys if you do have more than one person in your guys' business. Alrighty, now from here, we can go ahead and name our contacts board. So just go ahead and name it contacts. Again, we can go ahead and add different contacts in here now, but I'm going to show you a much easier way to do so later on in the video. Press next. You can also create different groups. So pretty much something that those specific contacts are going to have in common. These type of groups can range in different categories, such as active contacts, inactive contacts, or even different ways that you actually acquired them, such as a trade show or a form. Let's go ahead and press next here. And again, we can go ahead and customize the platform as much as you like. But right over here, Monday does a really good job with giving us many different options, such as deals, phone numbers, emails, etc. I've always found it useful to have the account or the company information that the contact is associated with, because that way I actually know which company I'm reaching out to, as well as the priority of the contact. The reason why priority is important is, for example, if I'm selling snacks and I got two parties getting back to me, one of them is going to be Google that wants to feed all of its employees, and one of them is going to be a small restaurant somewhere somewhere in a really small state, I'm probably going to choose Google. Boom. And once those things are ready to go, just press finish here. And look, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but the best part about this is no credit card was required at all times. This is really useful because I've had so many instances where I forgot to cancel those free trials. So it's really annoying when you stumble upon those situations. But anywho, once you guys are inside the CRM, you're going to see the most important categories right over here on the left hand side. And they're going to be contacts, deals, leads, and accounts. So I remember when I first started, this was really confusing to me, but the difference between leads and contacts, pretty much leads are the ones that haven't been interested in actually doing business with you so far. And contacts are going to be the ones that you're already working with. The reason why these four categories are going to be really important is because they all talk to one another. So for example, it's going to be crucial for you guys to associate a certain lead to a certain account name, because that way we actually have the name of the company associated with the lead that we're working with. And in addition to that, we can also associate different leads and accounts to a specific deal. And that way the whole system is kind of talking to one another and nothing gets lost in space. So let's go ahead and cover this lead section. So right over here, we see the basic information about the lead, such as their name, the status. We even have an automation button right over here the company they're associated with, title, email, phone number, all the basic information. If we want to add more information right over here, go ahead, press add column, and it's going to give you many different options, such as a status, owner, contact. Again, a lot of these are already selected, but a lot of things that are useful like location, comments, or even more columns right over here as well. The cool thing about this is that you can customize the Monday CRM platform to a really great extent, and that ensures that you guys' platform is made specifically for you guys' business. And here's another advantage. This whole time that we're actually modifying things within the platform, setting automations, not a single time do we actually need to know how to code. If you're somebody like me that doesn't really know how to program or gets lost in the weeds when it comes to that kind of stuff, this thing is going to be really useful. And again, from here, we can add different filters. So we can actually go ahead and filter based on a specific lead that we're searching for, or we can even add a group. So with this group, we can even add trade show leads and let's say normal leads. If we have two different ways to actually get the leads inside our platform, keeping them separate is going to be really important because that way we can actually 
see what's working and what's not. And with that in mind, all of our trade show leads are going to be a little different when it comes to normal leads because of the actual properties associated with them. So here's what I mean by this. If I go to the trade show leads, all that information when it comes to company title, email can actually be a little different. That's going to be a little bit more specific to a trade show. And depending on how you guys currently get the leads inside of you guys' platform, that we can actually modify this accordingly as well. And if we want to go ahead and get a new lead inside of our CRM, it's really straightforward. Press new lead. You can just go ahead and enter all the information about them. However, if you do already have existing systems, there's kind of two solutions here for you to get you guys' leads into the Monday CRM. Number one solution here, if there is another system that you're using and you want to integrate it with the Monday CRM, that way it makes it much easier to utilize that data sync and get the, all the information moved over. The second solution here for you guys is if we go ahead and press right over here on this little carrot button, import leads, you guys can go ahead and get a CSV file and move those leads that way. As you guys go through the process, it's really straightforward to match the different columns and make sure all the duplicates get deleted before you guys actually move the information into the CRM. But again, this process is very self-explanatory and I'm sure you guys are not going to have any issues with it. And the same import capabilities can be said about different sections of the CRM, ranging from accounts to even deals. So as you guys see in the account sections, you can have all the different companies listed here as well with their own properties. What I'd personally do, and this highly depends on your guys' business model, is whatever company you're working on, right? Kind of separate them by a specific niche and that way staying organized is going to be much easier. And the reason why you want to keep them separate is, for example, if we're working with a healthcare company, I'm assuming to a healthcare company, there's going to be specific leads associated with them. And all those leads are going to have their own specific information attached to them as well. And if we're using any automation capabilities like templates, having that personalized language it's going to go a long way. And here's how that's going to work. So for example, go to the lead section right over here and select one of the leads that you want to go ahead and send an email to. As you guys see, there's different options here when it comes to mass email, duplicating your lead, exporting it, archiving it, etc. But we're interested in this email option right over here. Let's go ahead and connect our email account to this. So let's press connect, select the email that we want to use, press allow, and boom, now we should be ready to rock and roll. And when it comes to different automations, there's going to be a lot of options. So as we chatted about before, there's going to be the template option, but there's going to be so many different workflows as well that pretty much work regarding the trigger effect. So for example, if X, Y, and Z happens, so a trigger is pulled, then something else is going to occur. But let's first go ahead and see exactly how these templates actually work. So for example, I could just type, hi, my name is, and select a specific column, and it can be an item name, right? And that way, it's actually going to use the information that's inside of our CRM and actually pre-populate that email. And the reason why this is important, as you guys are growing your business, you don't really have enough time to send one by one emails and having that automated, but at the same time, personalized content is going to be really useful. And speaking of which, as I mentioned before, Monday has a ton of other automations as well. And to access those, all we got to do is press automate right over here. Now, as you guys saw, I pressed the automation button when I was on the lead page, but you can also do the same thing when you're on deals or accounts. Now, now, there's different boards automations that can make your guys' workflow a lot easier. Like for example, when an item is created, status to new lead. And that way you don't have to manually do it every single time. But there's a lot of other automations as well. So let's go ahead and look at some of the templates here. And as you guys see, they're also kind of bundled up in their respective categories, like different basic automations, featured, notifications, status change, stuff like that. So for example, when status changes to something, move item to group. So let's go ahead and use this template. And as you guys see, all those things can be edited. And that's what makes Monday so great because how highly personable the platform can be. As you guys are building a business, you're going to have different challenges along the way. And that's by having different automations, deal records, companies, and being able to automate and customize all of that is going to be really useful. And the best part about it is all the communication that's going inside your guys' business, you can actually monitor it on the Monday CRM. So for example, if I click on John Smith and click on his profile record right over here, we can actually see and send out emails right over here and see all the activities that's been created with him. We can go ahead and see which specific part of the buyer journey he's currently in and that way you can actually attach different automations or even filter by that specific stage. That way for all you guys' top leads, accounts, and deals you're working on, you can have a hierarchy of them. So the ones that are going to be the most important, you can hit up much faster. And again, all the things that I mentioned from a customization standpoint also apply to the deal and the account point of view. So as you guys see right over here on the deal section, you can actually have a contact associate see with it as well, have expected close rate. And again, all those things can be added as well, which are going to be more specific to a deal section. What I like about Monday in this case is how consistent it is, because again, the way that the lead section is set up, we can set up our deal record pretty much the exact same way with pretty much just different column names right over here and what we care about to see. We can also see all the information when it comes to the forecast of our finances, as well as all the deals that we're working on in our pipeline. 
Again, all the things right over here are easily modifiable when it comes to the name of the deal and pretty much how much the deal is worth and different things that are associated with it. And if you want to see all that information to a deeper degree, all you got to do is just press on it and you'll see all the updates to the deal, quotes and invoices, and even more information right over here like the activity log. Again, the point I'm trying to make here is what I personally really like about Monday's CRM is the fact that everything is really uniform and there's not a really high steep learning curve. So if you played around a ton with the lead section, pretty much everything else is going to be applicable to the deal stages as well, but it's just going to have those specific properties that are going to be only applicable to deals nothing else. And there are a ton of different widgets and platforms that integrate really well within the Monday CRM. So what I would personally do is just if you are using anything in the very moment, integrate it into Monday so all that information can live in one place. Because again, if you're able to integrate everything in one place, if we actually go to the dashboard right over here, nothing's going to the cracks. So for example, if there are any different platforms that you're currently using outside of Monday.com, I'll go ahead and integrate those with Monday because that way all that information can be stored in one place and it can actually be really beneficial towards your guys' CRM and outreach efforts. And that way, as you guys are viewing your dashboard, nothing can slip through the cracks and all the team communication can be centralized and it can be very visible. And this is going to be even more important when we start looking at you guys' deals in the sales dashboard because there's nothing worse than a deal slipping through the cracks. And as you guys see right over here, we can add different widgets like charts, numbers, batteries, stuff like that, but as well as see the basic information when it comes to our sales efforts and see exactly what's working and what is not. There's a ton of different charts and all of this is customizable. And if I was a business owner, I would love to have all this information, especially regarding my sales all in one place, because that way I don't have to jump around different buckets and see what's working and what is not. The whole point of storing that data in your guys' CRM is that it can actually work together and that way we can have a much better outcome in the long run. And there you guys have it. That was a step-by-step -step tutorial of setting up your guys' Monday sales CRM. Whether you guys are just starting out within your guys' business or you guys have a growing operation, having Monday sales CRM is going to be really useful for you. It doesn't matter which stage of the journey you're currently on, having everything in one place and having full visibility on things is going to be really crucial for you guys' business growth. I hope you guys have been able to get some value out of this video and on this channel, we make videos on different tools, platforms, and different ways that we can grow and start your guys' business. If you do want to play around with Monday CRM, please make sure to use the link down in the description as it tremendously helps support the channel at no cost to you. And if you did get some value out of this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Till next time, peace.